Welcome back to the Overcomer Podcast, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, for watching and listening from wherever you guys are at. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch last week's episode, make sure you guys check that out. But before you go, make sure you stay here and stay tuned because we have a beautiful guest and my beautiful friend, Myra. Hi. Thank you for having me, of Queen. Of course, babe. It's I a had pleasure. Karina. Everyone was like, get hey, Myra and Karina. I'm like, I like having them separate. And then at that time, I was pregnant too. Yes. So I was like... Which Low is totally key. fine. I'm like, go live your best pregnant life. <laughs> go do whatever you want. Um, but I love having it separate because I'm like, you guys are twins, but yes. totally different. Yeah. You know? So I was like, you let's... get different perspectives. Yes. Yes. So tell me how much you hate Karina. Ah, <laughs> I'm all exposing her. What I'm is going kidding. on? No, but I'm so grateful that you're here, my friend. You've Thank come you. from far. I'm a huge fan of your podcast, by the way. I'm a huge it's fan an honor. of yours, Queen. You need Chins to come on, giggles. girl. I haven't gotten the call like, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am honestly so happy. Um, let's take a shot. Are Period. you down? Yeah, let's do let's it, Queen. Do it. Let's do it. I only I take. Shot. I only drink with certain guests. What is? What is that? Tequila. What kind is it? What is it? I I brewed it myself. You're like, girl, <laughs> it's kidding. tequila, all right? It's Casa Amigos. Period. I'm look. I'm gonna be very honest, okay? So I had a couple shots already. I already told you. But <laughs> like, I it. had a couple shots because I had an episode before this. Mm-hmm. Scared. So I'm scared at this point. She's a queen. She's you know, lit. and I'm. I have her. a little headache, but let's see if this helps. Okay. It'll fix the. It'll, well, usually it fixes a hangover. I don't yeah, know let's about. Let's see if the science works here. Right. <laughs> Okay, cheers. Mm. Let me get my... I'm good. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> Whew. Perfect. I can't even think. How many shots have you took today? Today? Four. Oh. Okay, quick. That was bad. That was strong. That was bad. And it's warm, too. Big. So it doesn't help. <laughs> okay, well, anyways... I feel like, okay, so if you guys don't know, Karina, I mean, Karina, Myra is a twin and Karina is her sister. Is <laughs> twin. We're twins. We're, they're twins. You guys also have other brothers and sisters, right? Yes. Jose Luis and Jasmine. Yes. And who else? David, Hugo. It's six of us. Three girls and three boys. Girl. Yeah. That's a lot. Your mom got to work. She did. That's she too did. many. And she got like even three boys, three girls, which is it's crazy. Do you ever feel like you want to have that many? I feel like because we grew up in a big family, I you want a big want family. Yeah, yeah. I do feel that. But they're hard. So I don't know. I don't know how okay. she did a girl. No, honestly, I can't even imagine. My sister has four kids and they drive me crazy. Yeah. Not even, I'm not even the mom. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, okay. So for the people that don't know Myra, I kind of want you to give like a little spiel of who mm-hmm. you are, where you come from, what you do. Your childhood, all that good stuff. Okay. So I'm Myra, also known as Myra Touch of Glam. Uh, I actually am a content creator. I started with beauty videos. Yes, you did. I kind of switched to more lifestyle now. Uh, but yeah, I started with that because I used to I used to freelance. Mm-hmm. I was freelancing doing that. And um, my friends would tell me like, oh, start a YouTube channel. And I eventually did it. And here we are, queen. Uh, but yeah. Where did you grow up where? Uh, we are from Santana. Okay. Yeah. But like at the age, I want to say, how old were we? Like four, we moved to Chino Hills. So I we kind of like, grew up there. I feel like a lot of people don't know this about us, but we've been friends for a long time. Oh, yes. Like, do you know when friends. we met? Like, what, what was it? I don't. But I just feel like I've known you for a long time. You're Remember right. Beauty I con? think it was like my first beauty con. Yeah. Oh my God. You're right. That is so funny. But you guys, we've been friends for a long time. I been. always say this. I'm like, I love Myra Karina, Alan, Adam. Like Aww. those are like my core people. Like whenever we're together, it's lit. Yes. It's a party. It's you are just such fun. a queen too. You've always no. made me feel comfortable. You're very humble. Your whole family queen. No. You guys are icons. <laughs> but we've always been very like, close like we're like yes. hey girl here like so I, if you guys didn't know we're here <laughs> she's like we're BFF screen we're was BFFs. good huh? we've always you know we're always hitting each other up we're like bitch no yes but um okay so what made you start social media like youtube and all that um well i was doing uh makeup i was freelancing and um 
in general i would watch youtubers right. so i would naturally like in the mirror talk to myself and like pretend i was filming <laughs> like why but it's funny because i actually waited till i was out of high school because okay. i was embarrassed i was like what are they gonna say so i waited uh it was 2012 okay it was i had just graduated and then i started in september so yeah i mean i just started doing makeup tutorials i started with my phone and it's funny because i deleted my first video because i was like embarrassed now i'm like bitch why did you delete it that would have been you know like feedback um but yeah that's how it started just literally freelancing and then from there and this queen right here is a mom yes a mom and a wifey shout out brian because brian is the best (laughs) he's always gonna be drunk as well period what's new but um how is mom life how are you feeling it's amazing i just had my baby april 8th he's gonna be eight months tomorrow oh my god yeah he is growing up so fast it's been amazing he's such a blessing he's changed my life for the better too it's just he's he's an icon i mean wow he's giving me purpose again i do i can't wait yeah i really want you to have more i want to enjoy him a little bit maybe like i kind of went to wait like four years i don't know that's what i say me right. pregnant Ooh, next month imagine. Maybe you're pregnant right now <laughs> right like, what's going on no but i do want to wait a little bit just to really give him my full attention um but i can't see myself not having more right like even though he's a handful i'm just here for it like i love being a mom Okay, so I'm curious. When Karina was pregnant, did you? Because you guys are twins, is it like, did you guys ever feel like that twin thing, tele- te- telepathy, right? Sometimes we do, but I feel like with pregnancy we didn't. Because I swore, I swore Mia was a boy and right. she was a girl. So, but like <laughs> other things, like growing up, we would have like similar dreams, which was so weird. Like little things like that. So we're we're in sync, but. The pregnancy, that one had me shocked a little bit. I thought I knew, girl. You're questioning everything. I was like, wait a damn minute. No. <laughs> um, so when you grew up, and I asked Karina this when she was on my podcast, did you guys ever like play around or like get like... Fool people? Parent trap status? Um, no, I feel like me and Karina were really shy growing up Yeah, and people would always tell us like, oh, you guys should prank the teachers and stuff. And we just never were about that life. (laughs) We're boring ass girls. No, like, and it's funny now. I feel like it's something we would do, but no, we just, I know. And I feel like every twin at some point has done that. And you're like, why haven't we never? No, literally like, I don't know. And people would tell us it's just that we we were just too shy. I feel like you're all you're like the more quiet one. I like am. Karina. I've always been more quiet. Yeah. yeah. Like your whole lives? I feel, yeah. She's always been like more rebelde, like towards my parents. I was always the one that behaved more too. Ah, me all exposing Dude. it. Um, she's always been more of like the ¿cómo se dice? Um what is it called? Atrevida, you, like Yeah, yeah. The the extrovert and I've been more the introvert. Oh. Yeah. Is it but like why? Are you just shy? Uh I feel like she's really shy too, but naturally she's more just like she's a little bit more aventada. Yeah, she's a little she's a little bit more wild. She is like with you. I feel like I had to like she's like I had to break a little crack bit, you a little like bit. a little bit. Yeah, and a little bit with Karina, but with you, just a little bit more. Oh yeah, and she's just. I mean, you guys are just both a fun time. <laughs> Queen. Like, I, and I remember no babe. The first time we ne- we met wasn't BeautyCon. What was it? It was the the thanksgiving thing that we did for my sister i thought we had met that day. no what yes when we did the the food drive for my sister you remember yeah yeah that was the first day you and alan went that was the, that first, was the first day we met yes and then but with had, me and you um, we met at the toy drive the okay. food drive thing when yeah. we fed the homeless oh that, that was, was that was we need time. to do that again that was beautiful Mood this year thanksgiving passed i know right <laughs> christmas true you know what i've always wanted to do have you seen the operation santa on usps so they do a a usps does a thing where it's operation santa and kids write letters to santa you go on and they write like cute little letters they're like oh santa this year i want i read one the other day i want to visit my grammy Mm -hmm. and my parents don't have a have money for the flight to go visit grammy i'm like Oh, but do people like Cry. complete it for them? Like though Yes, you could adopt the letter and then you buy the gifts or whatever you want to oh, buy for I them. I love that. And then there's kids that are like, I want an iPhone, I want Damn. AirPod Max, I want this iPad, 
I'm like, D- get rid of the letter, sweetie. I know, <laughs> right? Damn. I'm like, okay, no, but I really that that'd be cute. We should that do that. Would, yes. Vlogmas. Right. Yeah. That'd be Thank cute. You. Um. Okay. Well, let's get it. Let's get deep into it. Yes, okay? girl. So, like I've said, me and Karina have. I mean, me and Karina. What the fuck? <laughs> Queen. Me and Raya, the same person. Whatever. <laughs> me and Raya have been friends for a good minute. Yeah. I feel like I've seen her. At a good worst mm. in her life. And she's seen me in a good worst in my life. Um, but I want to know, how are you feeling? How's your heart? Because obviously I feel like a lot, I will mention it a little later, but you went through a lot of like trauma and mm-hmm. pain in your life. But how's your heart today? I am doing much better with Noah. He has completely like changed my life. It, it is crazy. I didn't think, I mean, I was so grateful when I found out I was pregnant with him. I just didn't think I would feel, I didn't think I would see a part of me again that I had lost. Does that make sense? Yes. Because I feel like I was just so, I don't know if like the words like out of touch with my life in general. I was just, I didn't even know what was going on with my lost. life. What was I doing? I feel like I didn't have purpose. And with him, I just feel like I'm seeing the old me again. I feel like I have goals again. I feel like I'm excited for the holidays again. He's just brought so much joy. Mm. Yeah. It, I'm doing so much better now, 100%. Okay. Is it, uh, can I mention everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just because I feel like even then it's like a sensitive topic for me mm-hmm. because I feel like, I don't want to say I saw it firsthand, but I, f- I knew like what you were going through. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't want to get emotional about it. Oh, my Aww. God. But, like, for me, it was, like, be, I think because you're my friend, mm-hmm. like, I felt it more. Mm-hmm. So if you guys obviously don't know, I don't, I can't even say it. Yeah. But you had, what, what was it? It wasn't. It, was, it wasn't even a miscarriage. It was I a, went into preterm labor. Preterm labor, right. Yeah, at 25 obviously weeks. With, it was really early. Dude, I watch these movies and I see them now and I'm like, I don't know how I would do that. Yeah. Like, I generally don't know how you guys did that. I don't know either. But anyway, she went through preterm labor. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Brian Cito obviously has is on the right hand of God and is living mm-hmm. happily. Can I, I want to know, like, how was that experience for you as a mother? It was really hard. It was really hard because when you're pregnant, you're excited. You know, you, you have like the these feels. big plans. And you don't even, I feel like people innocently, and as you should, you should be excited. Right. But I don't think people realize that there's dangers, no matter, even if you're out of the first trimester. Because for me, when I was out of the first trimester, I was like, I could finally announce, like, you know, good. the miscarriage rates are low. Um, I felt good. I was confident because everything was going just fine until I went into preterm labor. And I still have no idea, like, what caused it. Um, that was a big shock because from one day to another, literally, I didn't get any symptoms. Like I just remember I was, uh, filming, mm-hmm. I was filming a video and I was doing like a fashion haul and I just could not stop getting, like I was getting major lower back pain mm-hmm. and I didn't like know like, cramps, kind of. yeah, but I didn't know really what it was. I thought it was just, I don't know, part of the pregnancy. And then at some point I remember using the restroom, something felt like weird off, like pressure, you know? And I just remember like the cramps kept like coming back to back. And then I realized at some point it was contractions. I had even called and they were like, oh, you're probably dehydrated. Drink some water because sometimes it could cause like false contractions. And I was obviously praying to God that that was that because I was mortified. And no, like I eventually, you know, started bleeding. It was like it was like a lot. I freaked out. And at that point, I hadn't felt him move or anything. So I thought different. But I got to the hospital and we had a heartbeat. But they told me I was fully dilated. Like I was in full active labor. And um, I ended up having a C-section because my water broke. And they, I mean, he was like going to come out and he was breached. So I had to get a C-section. And from there, he was fighting for his life in the in the hospital uh, for over a month. He was born September 1st and passed October 16th. Dude, I remember. Yeah. Oh. And 
can I just say you and Val are like, I always bring it up no. because you guys stand out so much. I have amazing, obviously other friends that always reached out, but the way you guys would literally pray with us in the hospital, like you guys would call and we would be right there in the room in the NICU and you guys would literally have your pastor pray with us. It's cause bro. Like you guys, I don't think people understand. Like you guys have such huge hearts. You guys didn't have just, to do any of that. And you did. No. And I just like, I don't know. It gets me emotional. Just I feel like because I I don't want to say I lived it because I wasn't there, but I just feel like I don't know. Like I have such a good connection with you. It's like mm-hmm. I don't. I wouldn't ever want this to happen. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would hope that it would happen to me where people would come to me in that way. You know what I mean? Where yeah. I didn't want you to feel alone or feel like there was some type of scariness. Like obviously, yeah. Like you said, like there was friends and there was people, mm-hmm. right? But for someone to be able to be there you guys you know what yeah, i mean you guys stand out and i lot. and i just i and, and thank you but i was like in that moment i was just me and val were just like no there's nothing more there's there's nothing else that we can do to help you than to pray because mm-hmm. what we, well, we're not doctors there's mm-hmm. not people that you know obviously yeah. can do that how has it affected your body though um like like, do you get scared? Like, for me, if I was in that position, like, I'd be scared to get my period again. Like, for me, is like, trauma-wise. Yeah, I have so much trauma. I even, I got a lot of health anxiety after that yeah. because I swear that I have some kind of um, undiagnosed, uh, what is it called? Like, something's wrong with me. Because yeah. I'm like, if my body went into labor, like, what something's do I have? Like, yeah. yeah. So I just naturally assumed that. I'm like, well, my body's broken. Like, it had to carry this baby and it didn't. So I got a lot of anxiety from that. Also, like... Yeah, like the first periods and stuff. Because like the whole bleeding in general, that's like a lot of trauma. Yeah. Um, a lot of things. Like even uh, recently, my brother bought a home and he's right by the hospital. Oh and when I was driving up to his home and I realized like it was right there, it's something that I had to face. But like even that is so much trauma. Anytime I drive by any Kaiser, because he was born in a Kaiser, it's like, Ugh. flashbacks no it wasn't born at that same hospital no he was actually i had a high-risk doctor in la he's amazing so i completely actually even just for my own mental sanity i just completely canceled with kaiser and yeah, just no, did honestly, a different insurance no. i no, i agree it's traumatic I kaiser too no yeah. I, look and i'm not totally like different but i had kaiser and they're just kind of like very they're careless i felt that like just like, I don't know. And especially when it comes to health and I get, to, it get I get it's insurance and they get their pay, their payments or whatever. But it's yeah. kind of like you're also doctors and humans. Yeah. Like you, like you should care. It's okay. Like I do have a lot of respect for the nurses because till this day, it just I, I get so emotional because there are people out there that really do care. Like they would literally go in there and pray with us. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, sorry. I'm just no. like just thinking about it. I'll everything. cry. No, I'll cry with you. They were so... Ugh literal angels literal angels and the doctors were always so blunt yeah i feel like (laughs) like they were just like everything that they've told me is like so engraved in my head that i just can't like those memories i could never forget about like the things that they would tell me were just so blunt yeah i just remember one time like this is from me like trying to stay positive and i just remember one time like it was like i was sleeping it was like 5 a.m i get a call and the doctor's like honey your baby's dying Shut like up. that like imagine me i'm in positive on the spirits phone? yeah and i'm like this couldn't be like an in-person thing like it was just like and that's just one out of like a million things yeah. they would tell me it was absolutely terrible and and i even though i'm in a better place now i just feel like that's something you could never recover from no of course like not. i just the trauma is always gonna be there and now that i'm now that i had noah um some traumas have gone away like before before i you know, wasn't pregnant, uh, like pregnancies would trigger me. Now I'm like, oh, they're not a trigger because I went through now like a successful pregnancy. Mm-hmm. So there are but certain things. would you things. be upset like when somebody else would get pregnant? Like you'd be like if frustrated? I was, yeah. I mean, not frustrated exactly, but it was just like naturally a trigger mm-hmm. prior to being pregnant yeah. with Noah. Mm-hmm. It was naturally a trigger or like you don't obviously wish like anything bad on them, but it's no, just course. like. From your experience. It's just. And then people I was pregnant with, like naturally, it's just like even seeing their babies now, I'm just like, it's constantly like comparing. It's the trauma is like there. You can't even like run away from it. It's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Did it affect like your marriage, though? 
Or it actually, you know what's crazy? In the beginning, I would notice, like, when he had just passed, like, I would notice, like, the tension. But it's crazy because a lot of marriages usually, like, do end up, like, right. going right. to shit uh-huh. after that. And I right. feel like it actually made us stronger. That's good. Like, our faith, everything. I mean, like, obviously, yes, we, we loved each other before and everything. But it's just, like, a whole different level of maturing. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't even explain the bond that we have now especially with god i mean it's changes it's funny because well not funny but it's crazy because obviously you know when we're going through everything i feel like obviously i wish it never happened but it really changed me like the person i am now my faith is so strong i just feel like it humbled me in so many different ways that i if i had not gone through that i wouldn't be like where i am today spiritually Mm -hmm. yeah even like, though I'm like mentally fucked up a little bit, <laughs> like, you know, uh-huh. but like spiritually, I mean, it just made you feel better. Like you trust him a little bit more. 100%. Like, it's like, like you already went through that and it's like, okay, I think I could maybe go through something else. I feel and like still I could trust God. handle anything mostly at anything. This point. Yeah. At this I point. agree. Oh my yeah. God. I a thousand percent agree. Wow. Okay. We're going to go to a quick break real quick and then we're going to come back and come back to this. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, you guys welcome back. Okay. Myra. So I have a question. Yes. Go okay. Ahead, queen. When you got pregnant with Noah, mm-hmm. how was it like, were you happy or were you sad? Because you or like, what was that? Yeah. I was really happy because I was like really trying for him. How long did you guys try for? Um, let's see. I started trying And how long did it take for you to start trying? Mm. Because you probably didn't want to, right? Yeah. So in the beginning, I had got also a C-section. So I wasn't like, I couldn't really try. Um, People are different. Some people, like, they just won't ever really want to try again. And there's people that right away. I feel like I give myself a couple months. But even, like, after the couple months, I just was so desperate to feel like, uh, that like love again i don't know how to explain it mm-hmm. because i was so excited of the idea of having a baby and then like once i met brian Cito, i mean like just having a child is j- i can't even explain the love that you feel mm-hmm. i just felt so broken that i felt like my only way out of it was having another baby mm-hmm. obviously my baby will never be replaced but for me i just felt like i've always wanted to be a mom you know i've always wanted a lot of kids and I felt like for me, it was going to help me. And it did. So yeah. when I found out I was pregnant, which I was trying for like, I want to say I was trying for like a good seven, eight months. What? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And you guys wouldn't get pregnant? And I wouldn't. That's so weird. Yeah. I just, and well, even with Brian Tito, like I struggled to get pregnant. Okay. Yeah. So oh, I don't know, guys. I, I really can't think exactly. No, no, no. I want to no. say it was around that time like seven eight months and when i found out i was pregnant i was obviously super happy like we were shocked because i honestly i almost felt like it was too good to be true i was like i'm never gonna be able to get pregnant again like i don't know and then i did and i was so happy but maybe it was the hormones in the beginning i did kind of start like feeling really because in the beginning it was just me brian and brian tito like it was just even though he wasn't here physically with us it was was like the three of us you know and it made me feel so sad. Like, I remember there was a point where I just started feeling guilty because I felt like I was so desperate to feel some kind of purpose again that for me, I thought I was just having another baby. And when it finally happened, I felt so guilty mm. because it's like, is this what you wanted? Like, you're literally, for me, I know I wasn't replacing him. Right. But it almost felt that way yeah. because it's like, I was so desperate to have another child. And obviously that was my way of like coping. But I I feel like it was kind of the hormones. I was just like an emotional wreck. Yeah. But obviously like with time, I was so excited. And then like during the pregnancy, did you like have that guilt still? Um, A few months in, no. It was honestly just like a little stage Mm -hmm. where I was just really sad. And I would always tell Brian Tito, like, I always talk to him. I'm like, baby, like, this is not to replace you. Like, I'm so sorry. I know it's always been the three of us. Like, for me, it was just like, I was used to it just being us three. Of course. And I didn't want him to think that, like. It's going to be different. I, it was me erasing him. You know what I mean? Uh, but during the pregnancy, I mean, I was more nervous, I think, than anything. I had an amazing high-risk doctor. He would check me weekly, uh, literally weekly. 
my whole pregnancy and he was out in LA. I would come weekly. I was so, I mean, I was mortified. Drive, uh -huh. Yeah. And, um, he obviously would always reassure me and yeah, from there, eventually when I did reach like the 25th week, I was scary. like, that was scary. But once I started just like, you know, week by week kept passing, I was like, okay, I think I got this. Like and I was he more never, confident. He never told you why? Like he never told you why you were high risk? Um, he didn't know because he looked at my like medical records and there's not really Nothing? he thinks it was spontaneous. Like it's just sometimes like people just, just spontaneously go into labor wow. because I mean, they checked my medical records and there was absolutely nothing that he was like concerned about. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. It's just like, it sucks. No, it is. So I, cause I always thought I'm like, is there something I could have done to prevent it? And it's like, maybe you there wasn't. on yourself. A 100%. And it wasn't you. Yeah. It wasn't. Or it wasn't Brian's fault. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anybody's fault. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, I was it did you do you and Karina ever want to have a baby together at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. We want to have a pregnancy pack. I really think you guys should. We That'd do. be so fucking cute. Oh, we always talk about it. You guys wait, you can't can you guys have twins? I think we well, sometimes it'll skip generations, but I've okay. seen it firsthand, like twins having twins. I would so, die if one of crazy. you had a twin. That would actually be insane. Because like, damn. Twins. Oh my God. I know. My mom tells us all the time that she was mortified when she found out. No. And she will tell us that we were a hard time. <laughs> like she will remind like us. Like pregnancy or like Both. just in general? <laughs> pregnancy and after queen. I'm oh like, damn. Oh my God. I don't know. I, one is really hard. I cannot imagine. And then she kept, kept getting pregnant after that. Yeah. So she had like six cute. kids. Like no. girl, clearly it wasn't that hard. Like, damn. I'm dead well i'm so happy i'm so happy that you. you are better yes. that god has given you noah and briancito yeah that noah's the light oh, i see these pictures and i'm like his eyes are just like so light lightful like he just like you could see the joy and i'm just like this is what you deserved yeah. you and you and brian like you guys went through so much and i'm so like from the outside looking in, i'm like thank god that this happened and i'll i'll be honest Mm -hmm. I had talked to Alan about it. Mm -hmm. Me and Alan were talking about it. He's like, he's like, girl, is my real kid? I said, honestly, I don't know. Oh my like, God. me and him would have private conversations. And obviously, it's not yeah. like anything crazy, but we were mm -hmm. just like, hey, like, he would check in with me so I could check in with you oh. or whatever. And we're like, just so that you know, yeah. like, we, like, you were always on our mind. Yeah. Like, no matter what, we were just Aww. like, okay, like, I'm like, friend, you're closer. Like, go do something. <laughs> like, He would whatever. always check up on me, too. Dude, and I'm not, I'm, and I say it all the time. I'm like, I'm so grateful that I have, like, you guys, like, you guys are so welcoming and opening and homey. Like, when I first started, like, everybody kind of just got along great. Yeah. And we were always kind of just all together. And I don't know. I'm just grateful that we all have, yeah. like, this friendship and, like, we could be there. Like, obviously, when you have these really hard moments. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm genuinely happy for you. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so happy that you are ha finally getting, like, what you deserve and that God is giving you this blessing. Thank you. know, you. And I, even, like, even, like, what you guys went through, like, and I, and I still, I told you when you guys were going through that, like, God has a plan and it's so hard to yes. understand it, right? But, he never will never get an answer so it's kind of like we have to understand for the unseen and kind of yeah. just get what god is doing for us it's like with noah if i had not lost Brancito, because i was really trying like i was really trying for noah i don't know if he'd be here if i had not gone through that mm -hmm. so those are one of the moments where i had to see it unwrap in the future for yeah. me to understand, understand it and it's yeah. so hard to say it or kind of like comprehend it in your head because yeah. it sounds crazy yeah it does it sounds crazy and it kind of feels like is this true or not true like am yeah. i really gonna believe in this or that yeah and i've always prayed to god to like give me answers to show me like what his plan is and why it was like that and i feel like i'm starting to see it with mm -hmm. my baby because i love him so much and i'm like what do you mean you wouldn't be here because obviously even with brian Cito, i would have not thought about having a baby that quick yeah I mean, realistically, especially because he was premature, like m all my care would have been on him. I would have never considered it. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I'm like, wow, we, he wouldn't be here. That's, yeah. Well, thank God he's here. We yes. thank God. And we're hoping for baby number two, three, four and five, six. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So let's move on. You want a shot? 
Damn, I'm over here all getting hot with these shots, but I'm down. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, I'm trying to get girl. I'm scared. I'm scared. It's Mama's night out. <laughs> Period. Where is he right now? He's with Karina. Karina's taking care of him. With Mia? Yes. Oh, girl. I'm but, a, this shot's for Karina. All right. <laughs> Dude, Mia's wild. She is in her terrible twos. Dude, she is like, I feel like. She's the total opposite of both of them. She is definitely a queen. But she was a really good baby. Like, Girl. really good baby. I don't know what happened in that little transition. <laughs> like, but she's what happened her, to her? She's in her terrible twos for sure. Wild. Yeah. I That's what wait. I'm scared of, though. What? Terrible twos? Yeah. You feel because like he's going to be bad? He's a really good baby. But, I mean, Mia was the same. So I'm like, oh, shit. I think it's just, you know, you well, just did find you, out when it happens. Okay. Did you ever look up Noah's name meaning? I did. Well, Noah, I, I got it from the Bible. Right. Noah's Ark. Okay. So they say when you name them after, like whatever you name them uh -huh. and you look up the meaning, that's exactly what they're going to be. <gasps> like, so my sister's kids, right? It's Jordan Love. Mm -hmm. His middle name is Love. He is the Aww. most loving boy ever, but that's he's so really cute. bad. Aww. Like he's the, he's the sweetest one. He'll give you hugs and kisses mm -hmm. or whatever. My niece too. Her name is Genevieve Faith, and she's very she believes in God. Like she is like mm. God's soldier. Like she loves That's him so and cute. and like jo uh, Julian Julian. What's his name? Joy. He'll make you laugh all day mm -hmm. long. Luna. Like it, it really yeah. like they live out to their names. So yeah. let's look it up. Wait, I'm um, like, can we search up let's Noah? Look at, look, let's look up I'm Noah. <laughs> I badass kinda, little boy <laughs> right i kind of believe that because now that you're talking about that i remember one time searching up like definition of myra uh -huh. and i was like why is she me i could never my name is non-existent really jenica i, I How don't, do you make up I a don't name know for any that? other jenica <laughs> exactly okay noah which means rest in wait sometimes uh somewhat fittingly the meaning of this name pronounced noah comes from the hebrew word which means rest and comfort noah is hugely popular as a baby name regardless of um affiliation. it's really popular. yes it is let me see wow i did come rest across and that response. rest and uh rest and comfort and i was like You're getting wow the, wow oh yeah he mentally like rested my thoughts, thoughts. in a way yes 100%. let's look up mia Oh, because Mia. Mia, like in those pictures, she looks bad. She is definitely a bad queen. <laughs> Mia, no, dear darling. She is. She has a really big heart, though. She is such a queen, but she could be sassy. <laughs> she does. Star of the sea. Aww. Shine, relax, beautiful. Mm. Well, whatever. I believe. I think. I don't know. That's why. Like mm -hmm. picking. I don't know. How did? How do you pick up? A, pick someone's name for the rest of their life. That's hard. I can't ever think of that. That and I sometimes I'm like, oh my god, your name's Noah because I just decided your name was Noah. Like so that like that's crazy. Like, are they gonna make fun of him? As, no, I'm not saying no, Noah, but right? you know what I mean. Like, how is it gonna sound in school? Like, yeah, or like, how is your grandma gonna say it? Yeah, or your tias. No, then literally. Noah, then. <laughs> yes, and like or like different names. It's just wild, Briancito too. Like it was just when me and brian were dating like for years we would always say he would just have like his name right and then my daughter would have my middle name which is isabel so we would always talk I about we'd always talk about briancito and isabel so the first boy obviously briancito and then with the second boy i was like i didn't never uh, clap for a second boy honey i thought isabel <laughs> was coming <laughs> so when i had noah i was like oh, what do we name him karina came up with a name no karina did she suggested it to me uh, and I was like, I don't know how to feel about it. Because I knew Brian wasn't like at all like a name that was like a Spanish name. I right. was like, I mean, but like my parents could pronounce it, right. whatever. But I did always think I was going to have like, you know, nice Spanish yes. like Exotic. names that like, my parents could pronounce. Yeah. And then Noah in Spanish is Noé. But I don't know how I felt about Noé. You're right. I just Noe? when Karina said Noah, I was like, I love Noah. Like it, I know Noah's a really common name. No, like but everybody not, has like, it. It's just like it sounds cute. Yeah, and it it felt right. Little you know, Noe. he was like you know my rainbow baby. I yes. mean everything about it just had so much it went meaning. In line. It went yes, perfect. and I just I love it. Cheers. I'm happy for you. He looks like a Noah. Huh? Yeah. He did. Cheers to your little mom. Cheers. Mom's life. I love it. Okay. Jesus. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go to a quick break real quick and then we're gonna come back and come back to this. <sighs> okay. Yes. All right, you guys, welcome back. Okay, my friend, I need to know 
What happened to Hemela Cosmetics? Girl, I want to know too. Like, I don't know what the <laughs> hell is going on. I, have, okay. I was living <laughs> so for that one palette. I was Girl. dying over it. What happened? I didn't realize how hard it is to have a makeup line. Like, it's. I feel like it's something actually really difficult that people don't understand. There's so much, like, development behind it. Um, we've been working hard behind the scenes, y'all. We're not just here chilling. Right, like right. we got plans for it. We're actually launching we have something, babies. <laughs> right? We're actually launching something really soon. Uh, we have the the photo shoot and everything done already. Oh, period. Yeah, That's it's just cute. like, you know what? I don't know what it is. Like I think, just life happened, and I don't even know what to say, because girl. Probably like in not the mental space. I do want to say like so you know creating Jimena Cosmetics it was like happening even way before I had got pregnant with Brian Tito right and then after that I remember like it's kind of a family business yes I remember telling my family like I don't think I want to do this like I thought I was just going to quit YouTube overall so I was like I don't know how I'm going to get back and like now we have to launch this makeup line like it it even felt wrong for me because I'm like I'm not even in the mindset to care for it right now um and I was probably like I went, he passed in September and then I literally, we launched the makeup line in June. Like it hadn't even been a year. I feel like maybe it could do a lot with that. Like, you know, putting the energy into it and stuff just wasn't there. And then I got pregnant with Noah and I really shouldn't have an excuse. Let me tell you that girl. Cause it's been damn over a year, girl. (laughs) I literally, I knew you were going to ask this question and I was dreading it because I was so what? fucking embarrassed. No. It's like, what's going on? No, no, because I'm not the only one that loved it. Queen. So that's why I ask. I'm like, it was iconic. The Hemela idea was amazing. Like, yes. I, you know, just know that people are waiting. Oh, thank people you. People are waiting. You have a faithful customer over here. <laughs> thank you. But yeah, there's, there's things in the works. Okay. There's something launching really soon. So we haven't completely abandoned it. You guys stay tuned. It should be launching hopefully this month. Okay, can we get a, like a sneak peek? A sneak peek? Like, what does it have to do with? Uh, I have it on right now. I don't know. Y'all have to guess in the comments. Ah! Stare, at, stare at her face, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You guys are going to love the... It's a few items. Okay, cute. Yeah. I love that. Yes. And how are you feeling with YouTube now? Now that you switched, you switched to more lifestyle? Yes. Okay, how are you feeling? Is it more because like mommy life and all that you feel more comfortable with that uh do i miss just like doing my makeup with them i miss also makeup has changed you know it's not the same as it was before like freaking going to target with a smoky eye you know (laughs) like girl (laughs) literally no like the bold ass brows bold everything i mean she was a queen she was an era okay are you still in that era do you feel hell no girl i i feel like no, I mean, there's certain looks. I feel like people are realizing that we all look better like in softer makeup, right? Yes. Like, I'm here for the smoky, the glam. The glam. I'm here for it occasionally. Uh-huh. But the fact that we were out here going to grocery stores with a fucking purple lip with yes. blue eyeshadow, like, girl. girl. First of all, if you're doing that, you are a queen. And yes. you and you Fuck are like, you, babe. you do you, queen. But I don't got that time, <laughs> girl. Now that you're a mom and all that. No, literally. But I still have that passion just because I stopped it. Like, I still love doing my makeup. I love still randomly doing, like, you know, crazy dramatic looks. And I do want to slowly bring it in. I just don't know when I feel ready. I mean, I think it's time. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, already it's hard when you're balancing different things. And then I got to worry about this whole channel that you need to complete. I mean, you got to upload weekly and edit and stuff. I'm like... (gasps) Ugh. I feel like you're enjoying your moment right now, though. Yeah. Like you're, like you're at a piece that you've been desiring for for a while. Yes. And I'm content with what yes. I'm posting right now. Love that. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, my Thank love. you, queen. I'm so happy. What was I going to say? Um, okay. So we talked about Himela. We talked about YouTube. Mm-hmm. We talked about the babies. Yes. What's next for you? Uh, what are we feeling what do we think like is there you've had a baby is there anything that you would want to come out with or you want to do later on or passions that you have oh my goodness i actually uh i had like this project i was working on even prior to being pregnant with my first baby it was something i was gonna launch like i still have like a lot of like um 
the product that I never used. It's not makeup, so mm -hmm. it wouldn't expire or anything, but it was like uh, a business I was going to come out with and I never did. And it's something I've thought about recently that I probably should get back on. And I just, it literally, like I had invested money in it and everything and I just, it just stayed there because I never like, because I, I also had like so much trauma linked to it because I remember even like um when I was going through everything, I was still trying to figure out that launch. Like I was really close to launching it around that time and I think it's hard now to like pick up again and start doing it because of that. Yeah. Yeah. You have your candles though, right? Yes. You yes. Candles. We're still doing that. Okay. And with that, we have been really consistent. Yeah. Again, also, I feel like the reason behind it keeps us like going. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love doing that. Mm -hmm. I feel like for us, it's like, it's helped us Yeah. because it's for a good reason. You know, it's like for like him. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I know. My friend. You've done so good in your life. I'm like, I literally am yeah. in shock because there's so many people that don't come out of what you guys went through. So yeah. it's like, it's just amazing. And I'm so grateful that you were here and that you are open and vulnerable enough to talk about it. I was even, oh. I was nervous to talk about everything. Yeah. And I think because like, I just know the pain and everything that you went through. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, is it okay? Is it no, not okay? No, yeah. I actually, I feel like sometimes people are, are like scared to bring it up, but I love talking about him. Yeah. It's like my way of, you know, keeping his memory alive. There's people that, you know, grieve different. Some people close off. Of Some people feel sad when they bring it up. I feel like for me, like you bring him up, I'm going to talk about him the whole day. Oh, yeah. I love it. I don't know. I just feel like it's like my job as his mom. Yeah. No one's going to talk about him like his own mom. Mm -hmm. So I, that I, you know. Because you, you went through it. You felt it. Yeah. You had him yeah um what was I gonna say? you guys still do the podcast yeah yeah how's that going it's going good we're actually yeah. gonna go on break uh in a couple weeks okay we usually go on break in december and come back in january okay. strong huh? uh but yeah the podcast we've been doing that for we're going on our third season dude is yeah. it stressful do you feel like it's stressful honestly it's not that stressful okay so because i saw your halloween whole little thing i could never okay be getting ready and doing a whole halloween look and then <laughs> I know. do a podcast okay the reason why i think it's actually been helpful is because we have an entire team and okay. bringing up Pamela again um it we don't have a team for that mm -hmm. like it's literally just us so we're slowly now we're realizing we need a team clearly yeah. we desperately <laughs> imagine um but with the podcast it feels easy because we have an editor we have a producer yeah. well the producer is the editor and we have a team behind it you know okay. they um they all kind of like give us ideas we kind of bounce back off each okay. other i feel like if it was just me and karina we, we always joke about it i'm like if it was just us we were the ones editing it baby you would have episode one and that's it okay <laughs> <laughs> like i am so grateful for our team oh. shout out to crystal she is literally without her like it would not Crazy. be going oh yeah well i'm so happy again i i cannot i can't say it enough i'm just so happy for you and everything that you guys are accomplishing and i pray every day for you guys that mm. you know god continues to just bless you and everything that you guys are doing and I thank you for coming on. Thank I you love. for having no, me, Queen. Honestly, it was such a, it was so much fun. It was so like, yeah, uh, it was just a moment, like to see everything, like come, to see you happy. Aww, That's all it thank is. To you. See you. To see you so happy, and even Brian. Brian's here too, guys. Mm -hmm. Like to see you guys just living out the yeah. purpose that God has designed for you guys so thank i thank you, so you much and thank you for having me i was so nervous no because i never i mean i've only gone on i think alan's podcast uh -huh. and like i don't know who else, like i haven't really been on people's podcasts so i was like but you've always Good. made me feel super comfortable Good. i feel like it was more like the cameras and stuff i was like i know ah, shit. i know all this shit looks a little scary it's intimidating it is and it's funny because like we have a podcast too oh. like i'm used to the cameras but something about going on to someone yes. else's the pressure bitch. i feel it I, yeah. I, I that's why i don't go on other people's podcasts oh. i'm just well kidding. you gotta come on ours oh, yes, queen absolutely you tell me when i'll yes. take that three hour drive oh Moon. my god i know the drive girl it's wild it's wild but oh. okay thank you guys so much for watching and listening from where you guys are at make sure you guys follow myra what are your socials babe uh at myra touch of glam myra touch of, on everything tiktok uh tiktok it's my touch of glam i think yeah i think it's my touch of what glam the which one? The o the OnlyFans. Oop, machine on that and OnlyFans queen. Man, Brian's like, let me, I, I got it. Let for me you. pull it out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <not good. laughs> 
No, but thank you guys so much for you guys. Follow her. Make sure you follow Overcomfort Podcast. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Overcomfort Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.